whole rig gone, we can draw only one conclusion. The weed is trying to take over all the rigs and form one vast colony. With what objective? The saturation of the British islands and perhaps in time the entire planet. Such a thing possible? Oh yes, unless we can find the nerve center and destroy it. But how can we possibly do that? It could be anywhere out there in the North Sea. Yes, that is the difficulty. Doctor! What is it? Look at the pipe right away! Oh, 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 What's happening? here! It's come out! What in heaven's name is that? The advance guard. I don't understand. What's happening? The first part of the invasion. Doctor, don't go near! It's begun. The Battle of the Giants. HQ calling Rig F. Feed HQ calling Rig F. Can you hear me? Come in, please. Oh, Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris, I can't raise any of the rigs, not one. This is unbelievable. I'll try again, sir. Feed HQ calling Rig B. Feed HQ calling Rig B. Can you hear me? Well, keep trying, man. You're wasting your time, Miss Jones. By now, all those rigs will have been taken over by the weed colony. I don't care about the rigs. What's happened to the crews? The worst, I'm afraid. Then we've got to destroy the rigs. No. Oh, no, we don't do that. Why not? Well, that would spread this menace over a wide area and make it impossible to attack it. Well, what are we going to do? Uh, what is the weed going to do? What can it do? Well, let's think. Now, I imagine that in the first place, the weed was drawn up by one of the drilling rigs. No, no, anything that comes up from the bores would be cleared by the engineers at source, otherwise it would block the pumps. Precisely. And the engineers who cleared it must have touched it, yes? Yes, so they must have been among the first to be controlled. And since then, this attack, and it is an attack, has followed as a set pattern. How do you mean? Top priority people have been attacked first. If your theory is correct, the weed now controls two people who know the entire layout and structure of this whole compound. Yes, I'm very much afraid that is true. Robson was here not long ago. We must find him and prevent them using him for his own sake as well as ours. Yes, I agree. Price, Clark, get security to search the entire compound. I want Mr. Robson found and put under armed guard in his cabin. Very good, Clark. Doctor, there's one thing that doesn't fit in with your theory. No, what's that? When Victoria was locked in the oxygen room. Now, she's nothing to do with the personnel here. Yes, that's something that's been puzzling me, too. But she disturbed somebody who was interfering with the oxygen yes. supply. Someone wearing a gas mask. Now, now, supposing that person was under the control of the weed, he was wearing a gas mask for one reason only. Because to him, pure oxygen would be toxic? Exactly, Mr. Harris. Well, then we can use the oxygen as a weapon against the weed. Well, it's, it's only a theory at the moment. Well, as Mr. Harris said before, you've been right so far. There's no reason why you shouldn't be now. Oh, how nice to be trusted. Well, I only hope I am right. <laughs> that he stays there. Mr. Harris? Yes? They found Mr. Robson. Good. Where? In his cabin, lying on his bunk, apparently. Oh, well, that's a relief. There's a guard at the door, sir. Good. Mr. Harris, I want to see Mr. Robson. Robson? But he's ill. He won't be able to... I want to see him. But you've seen him already. Surely you could see he was in no fit state to help us in any way. I fully realize that, Mr. Harris, but we're old friends. He might talk to me. There's just a possibility he may know something that could help us. I see. All right, but I'm coming with you. Robson's in an unpredictable state at the moment. He could be violent. All right. You come too, Patrick. Yes, Miss Jones. Oh, if anything happens, Price, anything at all, I'll be with Miss Jones in Mr. Robson's cabin. Very good, sir. Chief, come out and... Well, why don't you get the minister to call up the national defences? What exactly do you suppose the armed forces could do? Well, uh, attack this, this weed or whatever it is. How? If we attack the rigs, what about the men out there? But we don't know they are there. Equally, we don't know that they aren't. They could be prisoners, anything. Then we, if we blow the rigs out of the sea, there's no guarantee we'll end this nightmare. It might well spread the menace, as the doctor suggested. This way, please, Miss Jones. Right. And come along, Perkins. Don't look so worried, man. You might as well go home. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. If you please, Harris. Miss Jones, I'd rather you let Neil Perkins come in with you. No. Now, don't fuss, Harris. I'll be perfectly all right.
Robson. Robson? John. John? It's all right, John. It's me, Megan. Megan Jones. Megan. I want to try to help you. Can't help. No one can help. John, can you tell us what happened? No. John, listen to me. We can't help you unless you help us. Can't help. No one can help. Yes, we can, John, if you let us. Now, whatever it is that's affecting you, you've got to fight it. Can't fight. You've got to fight it, can't John. Can't fight it. Now, come on, Robson. Robson! Now, listen to me. I'm director of the board. I put you in charge of this area, and I can just as easily send you back to the rigs. Do you understand me, Robson? Now, pull yourself together, man. Megan. Pull yourself together. Megan, uh, Megan, help me. Help. Help. Help me, Megan. John, help. It's all right, John. Miss Jones. John, can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's as if he was in a trance. Hypnotized. I thought for a minute he was rational. I think we'd better let him rest. Harris, is there nothing we can do to help him? No, the doctor couldn't help my... my wife, so I'm sure there's no, nothing... No, no, of course not. As far as I can see, the only thing we can do is to destroy this weed. Come. He does look worried this time. He's beginning to give me the willies. Yes. I wish we could go back to the TARDIS. Leave oh, all this trouble behind. We couldn't do that. You know, a doctor never leaves these people. Well, not I know, I know. Victoria, you're not going to start again, are you? Look, the doctor's got enough trouble as it is. Let him just sit and work it out. Anyway, he says it's an obvious answer to this seaweed stuff. Answer? What do you mean? Oh, we're well, fighting it. If it was that obvious, he'd have thought of it by now. Hey. Well, doctor, have you thought of a way in which we can attack this weed? Doctor! Oh, Miss Jones, no, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, have you any idea what it might do next? Well, I think it has little alternative but to attack us here. Here? But why? Because this is the gas distribution center. It will want to gain control of it. We must find a way of attacking its nerve center before it dies. But where is the nerve center? That's the trouble. We don't know. Yeah, we're not sure yet quite how to destroy it, are we? No, but there, there is something at the back of my mind. Well, what about the oxygen? Yes, that is a possibility. Then we must put the oxygen supply room under guard. Right. 